today I am on a hunt to go find a Dutch oven. So I'm with Lily with Rice of Happiness and recently she gave me a starter for some sourdough. I've never done anything with sourdough but I'm very intrigued by it and now that I have an oven I am able to do this. We went to Quartzsite. There is all of these tents and things where people sell all of these different trinkets and um, kitchenware and whatever you can possibly find, but we didn't have much luck. While we were there, though, we did find one tent that seemed to have a few Dutch ovens um, that I could use, but they were closed. So we're going back today. We're going to see if we can find one, and hopefully we leave there with a Dutch oven. So we have arrived. We're gonna go back to that tent where we've seen all of the cast irons and other bakeware. Hopefully they're still here and hopefully we can find something. <gasps> Looks like we're in luck. I think that might be, is that a five quart? Yeah. I'm gonna stay in the bottom. Alrighty, see so you next year. Oh, I will. I, that was good. It's just an eight inch. Do you have any others? So, little update. When we were at Quartzsite, we found some Dutch ovens, but they were really pricey. And the reason being is that they were collectibles and I just, I couldn't spend that much money on a Dutch oven. So we didn't pick one up, but I did find one on Amazon and I had it shipped. It showed up yesterday. Here is my new beauty. And today Lily is here and we are going to bake some bread. So she's gonna show me the ropes because she is amazing at cooking sourdough and has shared plenty of loaves with us. And we'll see if I can get into this. Okay, so 75 Sounds grams great. of starter. Starter. Yeah. I'm like all careful. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> Ish. Perfect. Okay, so then I scrape that into the big bowl. Okay. And what I do at this point is I also go ahead and dump and feed my starter. Okay. Because you're already, you're already getting the dishes dirty, sure. might as well, you know? Right. Okay. So since you're already, you have the bowl already mm -hmm. and you've already made a mess, now we're going to go ahead and dump measure this. and feed your starter. Do 25 grams of the starter. Okay. How about 25.61? Perfect. <laughs> and then that's your discard. So, so you I can, can dump this. You can dump all of that. Oh, poor Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason I named her Lucy is because of our first bus. We had, her name was Lucy. We found it on some paperwork. And since that was like the beginning of our bus life, I thought it was fitting to name my starter Lucy. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so then to this, mm -hmm. what I feed is a four to one. It's a really active starter. Okay. So by four to one, it means four times as much water as you have starter. So you're gonna add 100 grams of water. Okay. And 100 grams of flour. Okay, 100 grams. So yeah, if you be 125. To, yeah, that works. And then 100 grams of flour. 100 grams of flour. Or if you want to go thicker, you can add more than 100. Okay. But it's it's entirely up to you. So it'll be at 225. Yeah. And then mix it all together and throw it back in its little juicy jar there. And then you can put it back in the fridge for the next time. Perfect. 
front of it. The ooey gooey donuts. I know. <laughs> Lucy's back alive. She's been fed. <laughs> Try not to. So funny to say that she's been fed. I rem like when I first started, I thought it was like it wasn't second nature to say like, oh, I'm gonna feed my starter, you yeah. know? So it was like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like the new addition to our family right yeah. now. <laughs> Gotta feed little Lucy here. She gets hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now you got your starter in there. Yes. Um, so we're gonna go with a 75% hydration. Okay. So that's what I wanted to kind of explain to you. So I'm going to try and make it really simple. If you have a thousand grams of flour, okay. a 75% hydration would mean that you have 70, 750 grams of water. Yes. So it's always in proportion to the amount of flour that you have. Okay. So a thousand grams of flour makes two loaves. Okay. So we just cut that in half. Okay. So we're going to do 500 grams of flour. Okay. 375 grams of water. Okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> this takes them out. <laughs> okay, so I dump this in. Dump that in and mix it all good so it's a homogenous mixture. Okay, I think it's all mixed up. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna do 500 grams of flour. Okay, 250. 10 to 12 grams of salt. Oh, I don't have salt. No? I don't have salt. I'll go grab some. Okay. I have a, a ton. Yeah, we have zero salt. Okay. <laughs> we have zero salt. I'll be right back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how much salt? 10 to 12. It's 10 to 12 grams? Yeah. It's kind of up to your own personal flavor. Thank uh, you. And dump in the salt? Uh. Dump in the salt. So you want to mix that pretty good and make sure that all of the flour is moist and it's it just it does so much better the more you mix it right from the get-go as far as like its consistency and stuff. Okay, I think you're good. Yeah, it's good. So what I like to do, mm -hmm. and I'll it, it's I'll show you um, here in about a half an hour, but I like to try and already make it into a bowl. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna get it away from the edges. There we go. Kind of like that. And we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes. All right, we'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes is up. Now it's time to knead or to stretch and fold, right? Yes. Stretch and fold. So just. So you're gonna wanna get your fingers, like your fingertips, a little wet. Okay my running water. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And you're gonna grab the sides and kind of like use your fingers, kind of pull it away from the bowl. You're gonna grab the side. Like this? Yeah, and kind of like scoop up underneath there and pick it up like that. On both sides? Uh-huh. Okay, there you go. And keep pulling. Yep, and now you're gonna wanna just kind of flop it over to itself. Like this way? Yeah. There you go. Mercy. Okay. You're gonna do that every 30 minutes. Okay. For, you do it four to six times. So I just stretched and flipped the dough for the last time. This would have been six times, I believe, of stretching and flipping. Um, so the dough was ready for me to let it sit. So now I'm gonna let it sit here in the sun in this tub of wear and wait for bubbles to start forming and for it to start rising and doubling in size. Now we are getting ready to shape the dough so we can bake it. Okay. So do you just like use your hands? Yeah, I just sprinkle it. You tell me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So you're gonna take one corner like this. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna stretch it and you're gonna fold it over. Okay. And then you're gonna do the top and the side and then the bottom. Do I need to get my fingers wet? You shouldn't because you're. I'm floured. 
your flour, but you might need to you might need to coerce it a little bit. Okay, so like this corner, does it really matter? Um, no, either opposites or all the way around. Okay, let's do opposites. Oh man. I'm sticky. You know how long it's been since I've worked with dough? <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, having that little bit of stick almost helps you because it okay. helps you get that pole in there. So we're going to flip it over like that. Okay. And this is the part where you're going to kind of like tuck and tuck up underneath the sides and try and just get it as round as you can. Without and like kind of off the counter. Right. Or counter. So just kind of like this. Yep. Baking 101 sourdough bread. <laughs> Cause any of you were wondering. Okay, now we're flouring the bottom of the bowl. bowl. <laughs> okay, and then I mean, there's no like perfectly unawkward way to do it except for like that. Okay, and then what I do is you I kind of pinching. Yeah, I pinch okay. like I showed you with the towel, and I kind of okay. sometimes if the bottom bottom is too floured, mm -hmm. I'll even get another finger wet to like loosen up that flour and turn it almost into like a glue. <clears throat> but I found if you pinch it all together like that and then give it like a good firm twist, mm -hmm. that it really helps keep its shape. So the next thing I did was preheated our oven and we're gonna preheat it to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I do while it's nice and wet and sticky Mm-hmm. Because huh. I just Jesus. Let me leave here real quick. Sprinkle that on the bottom. Okay. Get a closer look. And then I kinda pat it in there. And that'll just prevent it from any burning and or sticking. And I think it adds like an extra crunch to the bottom of the crust. Yeah. So I need to just break off a couple pieces. Yeah, I did what you said earlier with the cross. I'm gonna do that. Okay. And yeah. then I flip the whole thing upside down. Okay. So, do you want me to do it? Yeah, go okay. for it. Let's see if I can get a handle here so I don't. Whoop! <laughs> there it went. Here's the razor blade. You're gonna wanna go about a quarter of an inch deep. Okay. And just do it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. This is what she looks like. And then you just gotta wait for the oven to preheat and we'll pop her in. First loaf going in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm just gonna guess. Yep, that's good. 20 minutes. All right. The moment bread. we've all been waiting for. Well, not, not quite. I mean, it's not done. Well, I mean, we at least get to have a look. Ooh. Is it is it time? I think I would leave it in there for another say, three more minutes. To me, it looks dope. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It smells so good. Yes, it does. They should make a candle scented like that. Yes, they should. 
Oh, there we much go. Better. There we Is go. Is that what we're looking mm -hmm. for? Yep. That's much better. Okay, right, so now go ahead and put it back in and we'll... Without the lid, right? Without the lid. Okay. Yep. No, no. What? No, Cinnamon was oh, almost jump. acting like she was going to jump again. Okay, <coughs> and we'll just knock it down. Let's just go a little notch. Two, one. Boop. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, we need to get a little longer. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'd even say maybe close to 10 minutes. Yeah. Woo! There we have it, folks. Oh my goodness. So, you've made your first loaf of bread. Yes. With your friend Lily. Yes. And? And? What do you think? I think this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's a lot of work. Uh, it, it is, but I think being the first time yeah. is going to be a little bit rough. But sure. she, I have a great teacher. Yes. So she makes it look really simple. So you had to do a couple of trips to Quartzite. Mm -hmm. We had to end up ordering a pan. Yep. We've done some experimenting and, and messing and, and, and kind of dialing some things in. Yep. Do you still like it? Absolutely. Well, how, how good is this bread? Well, you'll have to wait and find out. Oh, well, how silly is that? <laughs> All right, guys, it's finally freaking time. We got spaghetti made. We got some wine in our fancy wine glasses. <laughs> if you take the lid off of a shaker cup, it it's a wine perfect. glass. <laughs> so let's cut into this loaf and see what we got. Next thing she's gonna want a knife bread or a bread knife. <laughs> Check out all those bubbles, guys. What? I would say a first time bread baking was a success. With that, we're gonna leave you guys. We thank you for following along on our new bread journey. We're truly grateful for each and every one of you. A special thank you to Lily from Bricks of Happiness for helping this. me get started on this adventure. Yeah, so with that, subscribe if you like us. Give us a thumbs up. Leave some love in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Yes, we would. We're gonna enjoy some dinner. Time to go. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you.